Very best wishes to our customers and to everybody who's worked so hard to bring us to today's launch. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage du Vulcain. Allumage EAP, décollage. est nominal, les paramètres bord sont nominaux. And there she goes, hauling herself against the gravity of the Earth. After the initial six-second vertical climb, we rotated to the east and we're now heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. We're burning three engines, the Vulcan you saw there uh, in Les the images, plus two boosters, but it's the boosters that are doing all the work here. Their job's to get us away from the Earth, and we need an awful lot of firepower to push us against gravity. Antoine, they're your babies, aren't they, the boosters? You're a pyrotechnics expert, and you first spent many years working with them. That's true, and they are providing 90% of our thrust uh, right now. Each booster burns two tons of solid propellant per second, and to give you an idea, if you fill your car once a week, that's how much gas normal. you would use in a year. Quite incredible, and we can hear it uh, now. The sound has finally reached us. Beautiful images here at night. It's incredible to think those boosters are burning at uh, 3,000 degrees Celsius. Yes. And they're next to the main cryotechnic la stage. La est nominale, la trajectoire est normale, les paramètres bord sont normaux. Everything's normal. Um, we're looking here at the trajectory graph on the left-hand side of the screen. This is what everybody is watching now in this part of the flight. Tell us about it. The curve is uh, actually a computed simulation of uh, the trajectory, and uh, there is, you see a white dot on the curve, it's the actual position of, of the launch vehicle. You have to look at uh, two main parameters, the velocity or speed, it's uh, the V in kilometer, kilometers per second, and altitude, uh, or A, in kilometers. So those are the two things to keep your eye on throughout this flight. And we can now see those two boosters falling away. They have burnt their fuel. It's taken them uh, just over two minutes. We don't need them anymore, so they fall back to Earth. There they go. Those two dots you can see coming away, and that's the main engine you can see in the middle. We're losing weight, Antoine. Uh, yes, we just lost about three quarters of our, our initial weight in just over two minutes. Uh, so the lighter we are, the faster we go. It's a basic law of physics. Now, we saw the fairing earlier, the structure at the top of the launch vehicle. The fairings protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch. What kind of rigors are we talking about? Mainly acoustic vibration at least off. It's very loud, but also friction since the launcher is flying through our dense atmosphere at very high speed. So it is eating up. De la quoi. And uh, we're now getting separation of the fairing. We can see it falling away there. It comes away in two halves. And the reason we don't need it anymore is because we're now effectively in space. We're out of the atmosphere of the Earth. It's an incredible thing to think that it takes us only three minutes uh, to travel through the Earth's atmosphere. It makes you realize how little separates us from space, Antoine. Yes, the thick part of the atmosphere is about 100 kilometers deep. And if you were driving your car, let's imagine, on a very vertical highway into the sky, it will take you about 
15 minutes. That's, that's quite, quite long, That's yeah. quite something, isn't it? Uh, so the satellites are now exposed to space, and we can see JC sat at the front, and Venus sat's behind it, and that white cylinder you're looking at is the main stage. Tell us about it. Uh, its engine burns for uh, nine minutes, roughly, and uh, it is known as, as the Vulcan, it, which is extremely powerful. It is uh, doing all the work uh, right now. And it's effectively, we can see it there, a, a big tank of propellant, isn't it? Yes, it's the cryogenic uh, stage, and the engine is uh, burning a mix of uh, liquid oxygen and hydrogen. There we can see those uh, wonderful images, the 3D images, as we call them there, of the launcher as it flies through space. At Arian Space, there's a whole set of people, uh, many teams, dedicated to making sure the launch is ready. One of them is Kate Underhill, and we've been finding out more about what she does. Thank <laughs> you. 